what is going on guys? It's Aaron with Lansing Lawn Service and today I am at Echo USA headquarters. We're demoing a bunch of equipment. I'm looking to purchase some new equipment and they have been kind enough to have me and a bunch of other guys out to test this stuff out. Let's take a look. This is Echo's new chainsaw. It's the largest in the industry. It's time for outdoor demo. This is essentially what's cutting. So you got five of these spindles and there's three of these blades per spindle. It'll go down to three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch to four inches is the height. So It'll move Bermuda at three quarters Bermuda of an inch. Fields, does, yeah. We've had it on Tiff Tough Bermuda and it's done a nice job. All right guys, so we are gonna check out the trimmers that they've got here today. Uh, specifically, the new trimmer. It's the SRM 2330T. Let's check this thing out. Now this looks basically like the 225, but it's got some uh, chrome plating in it. Supposed to last a little longer, supposed to have a little bit more power. So I'm gonna test it out here. You guys can see what you think. Alright, guys, so this is the new Echo 2320T. This is kind of the big brother to the SRM 225. They've done a few things to improve it. It's got a new it's got some new gearing in the in the uh, head here you can really hear the difference. Sorry, I'm trying to get really close here. So let's run this thing. We're gonna try to bury it in the grass and see what happens. not bogged down at all in this thick grass. That is awesome. We are at the first booth here. We're checking out the new pressure washers. This one here is the big boy. PW4200. 4200 PSI. This thing is a beast. Right here? Yeah, it should be four people per four. 770RT. It's a Shindawa branded version of the Echo PB770T. Same pricing, same feature, same performance as the other version. The second unit is the EB810. This is a Shindawa branded version of the Echo PB8010. Available in both a hip and a tube throttle. We have some important improvements that we made to the Echo model that's from July production that are from first production on the Shadow version. I'll go through those real quick. So the first one is to the blower tubes. So we have a new flex tube on this model. It's got a new shaped rib on here, which helps reduce uh, kinking. We also lengthen the flex tube by a couple of inches, which gives you better mobility, especially when you're swinging the pipes to the left side of your body. It's gonna make it easier to swing those. We also have a new leaf guard, which uh, gives us reduced leaf clogging, especially if you're using it really heavy duty leaf cleanup. It's great for that. We also have some new uh, straps on this with some revised stitching. Same performance, same pricing as the, uh, the previous version of the 8010. It's the best performing backpack on the market. All right guys, so I am wearing right now the Echo PB8010, the monster blower. Biggest on the market, most powerful on the market. Let's test it out. guys now we're gonna look at some generators some of the newest ones well the new ones that they've got out right now these things are awesome let's check them out 
run through that again. Um, and then we can start up any unit. We have different generators powering different stations around. Uh, but this is really the newest thing uh, is the Bluetooth. Uh, so I just want to give you a good demo on that. Let me get this thing restarted here. It's the Echo Command. The command identifies it as the app. It's the Echo Command app, which is available for download through Google and uh, uh, Apple. It's a free app that allows you to communicate with the generator. So right now, my phone's hooked up through Bluetooth technology to the computer on the unit. It's telling me how much fuel level I have in the fuel tank. I don't have anything powering right now, so there's nothing uh, registering on the load meter. And I have a 13 hour and 28 minute uh, runtime right now based on my fuel level. I have some halogen watt light bulbs here. I'll start putting on uh, and asking the generator to create some more load, and then I'll show you how that changes. So it's 250 watts I just asked for it, so it takes a second to uh, increase the load meter, and then you also see my runtime will recalculate based on the load and based on the, the fuel level. So what's nice is, say the power's out, you have the generator out in your driveway, you got an extension cord going into your house. As I start plugging in my refrigerator, a fan, some lights, a cell phone, I can watch that load meter increase to make sure I don't overload the unit. Typically, if you overload a generator, one of two things will happen. The unit will shut down, or you'll give a warning, and then you have to go back outside and flip some switches or restart the unit. The unit's smart enough to know I overloaded it. It'll keep the engine running, disconnect the electronics, send me a notification through my phone saying, hey, you overloaded me. Unplug something. If I unplug it, I can then reset it right from my phone. I don't have to go back outside in the storm and flip any switches or unplug or, or anything like that. Do you get that notification? So if you want to shut it down for the night or if you're using it for camping and you want to, you don't want to get out of your tent to go turn the unit off, if I just hit engine stop, it does make me confirm just so I don't accidentally turn it off. It's kind of hard to hear at the blowers, but the uh, phone will talk to the computer and I'll cut the ignition system off so you can do remote shutdown. So we did spec out the largest Bluetooth module we could find. So the average range is 50 to 75 feet with the max of about 100. So if you're out in an open area like this, you can do 100 feet, no problem. If you're going through walls, uh, foundations, you're about 50 to 75 feet. So this unit here, uh, 849 retail price point, also comes standard with kind of a unique uh, telescopic handle, kind of like a suitcase, uh, just to make it easy to transport. It does come standard with USBs on it, so if you want to charge your phone, you're not tying up an entire outlet just to charge your phone. Two different USB ports, a standard duplex, um, uh, 2300 max watts. This also has uh, a built-in carbon monoxide detector, so unfortunately these portable generators sometimes get ran. Inverter model, it does not have the Bluetooth, it does not have the CO shutdown. This is strictly computer controlled, so very clean power output. Uh, but this has a $599 retail. So if you're looking for an, a good quality inverter, but maybe those you know Bluetooth uh, features aren't important, you can step down a model or even step up to a higher uh, EGI 4000, which has all the Bluetooth communications and even more wattage. So there's a total of five new uh, generators in the Echo lineup for this fall. All right, guys, we are at the chainsaw booth. We're gonna test out a few of these chainsaws. I want to see especially the little guy here and then the big dog right over here. Let's check it out. I just ran the CS620P. That thing cuts like butter, holy crap. So that is a powerful machine. That looks like one of the biggest chainsaws they have out here right now. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna try out the littlest chainsaw they have out here. It's the lightest chainsaw on the market. It's the CS2511T, smallest chainsaw that they have out here and the lightest in the industry.
products uh, for 2020. Uh, first we have the SAC 2620S. Um, this is a little bit shorter version of a product we currently have. But it does have the 2620 power head. So it gives us the most powerful shafted head trimmer on the market. I'm going to go to the handheld units. So we have four new models. Uh, these will be coming out uh, probably early in 2020. Um, so what's the main difference between these is the weight. So you're going to be saving anywhere from a half pound to two pounds of weight. Uh, compared to the, uh, the the current Echo ones and compared to the, the competitors, uh, they all have the magnesium gear case. Uh, again, it's very durable, uh, lightweight. Uh, they, all these units will have the front forward-facing exhaust, so you prevent damage to the to the shrubs with the hot exhaust gas. Okay hey guys, this is the HCS 2810 shrub trimmer. It's one-sided, but it's got this rake here. And the, the, uh, the advantage of having this is that it, it catches the, the clippings. And you can just throw them off. I am really considering getting one of these. It could be a huge time saver if you're doing a ton of shrubs, especially low shrubs like boxwoods and things like that really save cleanup time. So that's the HCS 2810 hedge trimmer. guys they fed us they've allowed us to test their equipment and now the event is over if you guys love these kind of videos of equipment reviews and things like that click the playlist right up here and I will see you over in one of those videos